All right, I think we'd like to welcome everybody to this week's version of FitX exercise. Um, let me make sure I'm live on Facebook. Okay, now we are actually live on Facebook. So we'd like to welcome everybody to um, this week's FitX exercise and snack. So we're gonna do a quick 15 minutes of exercise and follow it up with a healthy snack idea. So I think I'm gonna kick it over um, to April, I believe is doing our Hi. exercise. Yes. So yes. we'll let April get started and we'll go from there. All right, thank you guys for joining me and I will get my timer started. All right, so here we go. Um, so let's go ahead and stretch a little. I want us to do some YWs. So go a Y and then W. Y and W. And this will be just on the floor and standing. So you can be in a tight area, it doesn't matter. But hopefully you can join me doing this. We're gonna do some crunches today too. So keep going those Y and W. Y and W, perfect. Excellent. And keep in mind, if you can't get on the floor for crunches, you can always do them in your chair. <laughs> Excellent. All right. So let's go ahead and get a march. And I'd like for us to slowly swing our arms up and down and march those legs as high as you can. I'm just going to be warming up a little bit. Perfect. Excellent. All right, and so yeah, we're gonna be doing a little bit of floor work and some squats. So again, this is a limited area um, for these exercises, no big deal. And you can always do them seated as well. So if we're doing any squats, just I ask that you get up and down or you can just move your legs in your chair, either way. All right, so let's see. Now, let's go ahead and jump down on the floor here. And we're still gonna be warming up a little bit with our, our core. So this particular exercise is called a, oh, that's the cow. We got the cow. <laughs> and then the cat is where you round your back. Cow is where you look up. Cat, it's round your back, kind of like a cat. And cow is look up and back to a cat. And we'll do another cow. And to the cat. And one more cow. Perfect. Excellent. All right. So again, shoulders are on top of our, um, L or our uh, what are those? <laughs> our hands, <laughs> our wrists. So the shoulders are stacked on top of our wrists and knees underneath your hips. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna take my hand and put it on the back of my head. And I'm gonna take my elbow and go towards my opposite wrist and come back up. And so what we're doing is we're just warming up that lateral movement and go back down to the wrist and come back up and go to the opposite wrist and come back up. Perfect, all right? So place that hand down. Switch to the other side again. That hand goes on the back of your head and that elbow goes to the opposite wrist. And up, opposite wrist and up. Very good, opposite wrist and up. One more, opposite wrist and up. Excellent. All right, so go ahead and Shake it out a little bit. Take those hands and I want you to take your fingers and pull them back a little bit, just like that. So like a little bit of pressure on there and wiggle them out a bit. Opposite hand up, pull back on those fingers. Perfect, all right. So we'll go ahead and jump down on the floor here and we'll do some crunches. All right. 
So we're just gonna do a regular old crunch. Again, you can do this in your, in your chair. But right now, just put those feet on the floor. Your back is flat on the floor. That's the real important part. So your lower back is touching the floor. And we're just gonna bring our hands behind our head and pull like you have an apple in between your chin and your chest and look up and crunch and hold it and back down. Crunch, hold it and back down. Again, it's not a lot, but just a little bit. Crunch, hold it and back down. Crunch, hold it, good, back down. One more, crunch and hold and back down, awesome. All right, so this is uh, gonna be a runner's crunch. So what I want you to do is take one leg and put it down. All right, and then what you're gonna do is you're gonna take the leg that's up and you're gonna bring it over to the opposite elbow and put that leg down. Bring the other leg up, bring it to the opposite elbow and back down. So it's gonna be a fluid motion where you're just switching out your legs and going to the opposite side. If you wanna get real involved, you can go and look like a runner. <laughs> and it's basically taking your opposite arm and opposite leg and going back and forth with it. Just like this. Awesome, very good. Make sure that lower back is on the floor and you're just kind of taking up that knee and trying to touch it to the other hand or just doing the air motions. Perfect. Excellent. All right. So now what we're gonna do is flip over and we're gonna do some push-ups. So you can make this as hard or as easy as you'd like, but I'm gonna go ahead and do some hard ones. <laughs> For modification, please, 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 certainly you can put your knees on the ground. Um, the other thing you can do is stand up against a wall and just push, push from the wall. Um, or, you know, even from the, your desk, if you're in your chair, you can just push off of your desk. So here we go. We're going to do eight push ups. Got this. So nice flat back. We're going to go down and up, down and up down and up down four down for five and down for six down for seven one more and down four eight awesome very good all right so we'll go ahead and stand up what i'd like you to do is get that heart going a little more and i want you to march in place so go ahead and march in place. And again, if you're staying seated for any reason, just swing your arms as much as you can and stomp your feet. Perfect. All right, we'll go ahead and step side to side. So let's step side to side. Awesome. <laughs> I'm getting warm. <laughs> All right. Very good. I always feel like I'm dancing when I do this. <laughs> okay, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and just do some squats real quick. Let's get those legs engaged. So a little more than hip width apart. Those toes are at 10 and two pretty much. So a little bit um, kind of catty cornered from each other and then we're gonna just have a nice flat back, take that booty and stick it out and up. Perfect, nice flat back. And we're gonna go down and up, excellent. Go down, hold it. I want those muscles working and up, good. We're gonna go down and up, awesome. Down and up, down. And up, down, and up, and one more, down, and up. Very good, all right. And let's go ahead and incorporate a lunge in there. So I like to lunge backwards. 
you're more than welcome to lunge forward either way. So pick a leg, any leg, put that one forward and we're gonna go down and up. Nice straight back, shoulders back, down and up on the same leg, same leg, down and up, down and up, good. Down and up, all right. So walk it out for me. Very good. Okay, we're gonna switch legs. Here we go. Down and up. Down and up, good. Down and up. Down and up and one more. Down and up. Good. All right. Walk it out for me. Excellent. All right. Very good. So to get that heart pump, pump in a little bit more, I want us to do some jump squats real quick. Okay. So what you're going to do is more than a little bit more than hip width apart again. And we're just going to take those hands and throw them back and jump just like that. Take it up and then throw them back and jump. Excellent, and up, and up, and up, and up. One more, and up, there you go, perfect. All right, so let's go ahead and march in place. Perfect. It's always a good thing when I start breathing hard. <laughs> All right. Excellent. So now what I'd like for you to do is go ahead and take those arms. Let's go swimming. Just gonna go swimming, warmer weather. Think about your swimming in the day. <laughs> Running away from jellyfish, just kidding. <laughs> All right, in the opposite way, we're gonna go backstroke. Very good. Excellent. All right, and now what we're gonna do is we're just gonna turn one way, turn the other way, and turn the other way. One more turn towards the other side. Perfect. So if you can, please find something that is nice and stable. I'm gonna grab the wall here and your knees, keep them together. Make sure that you're not doing this or this. <laughs> Keep those knees together and grab your foot. Grab your foot and we're gonna stretch those quads out. Very good, all right. And then switch to the other side, grab onto something, grab your foot, put those knees together and kind of take your hips and stick them out a little bit. You'll really feel the stretch as you put more pressure into putting your hips out, but keeping those knees together is very, very important. I remember I used to stretch like this. <laughs> so finally, somebody corrected me because it's actually really hard on your knees. All right, last but not least, we're gonna get to those hamstrings. Um, so the important thing is don't get dizzy. Um, we're gonna try to touch our toes if you can't, you know, as much as you can. So just lean down, try to touch your toes, hang your head. It's supposed to be nice and relaxing and just breathe into it. So breathe in and breathe out. Breathe in and breathe out. Good. And then nice and slowly walk your hands up your legs. Nice and slow, nice and slow. And there we go, that's it for me. So thank you guys so much for joining me. All right, that was great, April. All right, give me one second, I'm going to get set up. I realize the Zoom filter means you can't actually see the food. So we're gonna turn that off real quick.
Um, the other thing I need to do before we get started, it's a real simple recipe, kind of in theme with what, what I had done a couple of weeks ago. Um, these are real simple things that kids can put together, and it's a really good way to encourage um, children and youth to have healthier snacks. Um, but we did talk about food safety last time, and probably a really central part of food safety is washing your hands, especially if you do push-ups off the floor. So I am going to go wash my hands real quick, and I'll be back in 30 seconds. I love the reminder of food safety. And I also just wanted to share um, my gratitude for April and making sure we moved our spine in all six directions, particularly the twist side to side. That always feels good after a long day. If you're in Wyoming, you're halfway through the day. Uh, Virginia folks, we're getting ready to round it out. And uh, I'm excited to learn a snack that even kids can make because that means I might be able to. So I see Glenn's hands are back. Yep. So this is a really simple kind of little veggie roll. And it's actually going to look almost like sushi, which is kind of a little neat look to it. Um, and it's, again, it's a good way to really encourage kids. Or if you're an adult and you're not great about getting your veggies and whole grains, um, this can be good for adults as well. But it's real simple. We're going to take just a piece of bread. And kids love this part, but it's also why it's really important that they wash their hands really thoroughly beforehand. We're actually just going to smush the bread a little bit. We're gonna smush it out as much as we can. This is the fun part. All right, once we have that, we're gonna grab some cream cheese. Now, if you're lactose intolerant, there are uh, lactose-free cream cheeses. If you are lactose intolerant, but not allergic to peanuts, peanut butter could be an option as well. Um, I do have regular whipped cream cheese. And one of the reasons for that is whipped cream cheese has uh, considerably less calorie or fewer calories than regular cream cheese. So just a consideration. Um, though, do keep in mind as we talk about food groups and nutrition, what cream cheese does not have a lot of is calcium or protein. So do not count it as one of your, uh, your dairy servings for the day. It's a nice, nice for flavoring, but we're not gonna count it as actually your dairy serving. But then we're gonna grab whatever vegetable we really like. In my case, carrot matchsticks. Uh, you can julienne little pieces of cucumber as well. That's a potential option. We're gonna grab small pieces of whatever vegetable you want. And the important thing is we're going to put it all in just one side. All right here. We're actually going to let a little bit hang over the, the piece of bread as well. I don't know if you all can see that pretty well. And then we're going to roll it on up. Oh, this piece of bread is sticking to the plate for some reason. That's unfortunate. I think I can save it though. There we go. Then we're going to cut it in pieces. And then these look like little pieces of sushi almost. Little carrots hanging out. And again, this is a good way for them to have vegetables. Um, this is whole wheat bread. Um, so it's a good way to get some whole grains as well. Um, so you can sneak in a lot of those vegetables, sneak in those whole grains. Uh, most of the kids we do this with love this. We have a few picky ones that maybe don't, um, but they also love that it kind of looks like sushi when you're done with it as well. Very simple, not inexpensive. Um, as you can see, it only takes about like 30 seconds to make. Um, and yeah, that's, that's my real quick. I know it's nowhere near 15 minutes, but that was my real quick uh, demo for our little um, veggie sushis or smooshies, as I think one of the kids called them because we smush them. And hope you all enjoy that. I love that. And I, I have a question and um, feel free to answer Glenn or anyone else on the call. Um, I once was told, so we can kind of create a myth busters maybe here that um, the flat like tortilla bread actually per serving, like per slice has more calories, even though it's flatter. So you might think it has fewer um, calories because the way it's processed, it's so much more dense. So you, did you choose the bread because it um, has more whole grains and um, fewer calories than the condensed um, tortilla or any thoughts on that from, from anybody? I'm just curious if anybody else has heard that and if it's true or not. Um, yeah, those tortillas can be deceptive with the amount of calories and that, that furthers, you know, we talked about in previous times, really look at those nutrition facts labels. Um, yeah, because that's definitely true. Also, just in terms of just aesthetics of what it, I know you can't see it super well, but it's harder to make those little imitation sushis with uh, tortillas, which was my other thought. 
Uh, but yeah, yeah, tortillas can be uh, can be deceptively high in calories. This would be a fun one too, Glenn, to use um, fruit with the cream cheese, like bananas or strawberries. And we end up using a lot of Nutella because we have a couple kids that come that have peanut allergies. Um, so we use a lot of the Nutella. So I was thinking Nutella and strawberries or Nutella and brownie or bananas, not brownies, would be really good rolled up like that too. Oh, it would be delicious. Just not too much of the Nutella. That has quite a bit of saturated fat, but just a little bit, sure. Yeah. Um, but yeah, that's all I have. I know that's a quicker demo than normal. Um, we wanted to give you one that was fun, easy, gets you a couple, uh, gets you a serving, maybe not quite a serving, but gets you towards a serving of a couple different healthy food groups um, and something that kids can do and that they're encouraged to eat a little healthier or snack a little healthier specifically. Thank you so much, everybody. Have a wonderful Wednesday. All right, we will see everyone next week on Wednesday at 1.30 Mountain and 3.30 Eastern. Um, as we kind of wind down this session of FitX, it's hard to believe how fast eight weeks are zipping by. So um, we'll see everybody next week. Thanks, Erin.